Postnatal surgery for SCT uh, requires fairly meticulous uh, dissection uh, to remove the tumor. For those tumors that have both an internal and external component, it may be necessary to work both in the abdomen to control the blood supply to the large vascular tumor, as well as working on the bottom. The tumor uh, can often be massive. It usually displaces the uh, anus and rectum, and that's uh, something that you have to be very careful to preserve, obviously. It also displaces the, the nerves and blood vessels as they come out of the pelvis, and so you have to uh, be very careful because these structures are displaced and they may not be in their normal position to meticulously stay on the capsule of the tumor and follow the tumor into the pelvis and up to its origin from the coccyx. The goal of the operation is to remove all the tumor, to remove the tailbone because there's a recurrence risk if the coccyx is not removed because that's the location where the tumor arises from. There's as high as 30 percent recurrence rate uh, if you don't resect the, the coccyx and so uh, we resect the coccyx, we remove the entire tumor uh, including the pelvic component if necessary and most of the time that will cure the baby from the SCT. They'll also do a reconstruction of their buttocks area and have a uh, nice scar formation so that you can actually tell that there's definition um, to their bottom later on. You're thinking, are there gonna be any developmental problems? Um, even even down to, you know, is, is she gonna feel bad in a bathing suit when she gets to be 14. The cosmetic appearance of SCTs is something that may not be of great concern at the time, but in the long term for the children and the families, I think, is a very important consideration. The first obligation we have as pediatric surgeons is to resect the tumor completely, do as complete of a reconstruction as possible, and then to make things look as normal as possible although that can't always be done in one setting. What you normally try to do is preserve everything uh, that's been distorted by the tumor, put it back together in an anatomic way, and most of the time you can have a fairly good cosmetic appearance with that. And it is necessary in some cases to do a scar revision for very large tumors, for instance. There's still a scar there. There's no way to do this without a scar, but at least the contour uh, of the area looks pretty normal.